Each year, there are two career fairs at WMU. Ultimately, career fairs are about networking with employers with the goal of securing an internship or full-time position. So, what's it like to be at a career fair? My first time at the career fair, it was totally different than I expected. It was pretty crowded and loud and chaotic, but I found that the more people you talk to and the more times you practice your 30-second introduction, it gets easier and easier. I really like going to career fair because you're talking with employers, learning more about what they do on a regular basis and you're interviewing the company at the same time. The career fair is very unnerving. It reminds me of Black Friday. There's a lot of people just hustling to get to different prospective employers. You walked in this room with hundreds of seasoned professionals who knew exactly what they were looking for and the biggest question in your head is, am I what they're looking for? Career fairs can be a bit intimidating the first time you attend. But there are things you can do to prepare that will help you be successful. First thing I do to prepare for a career fair is go through and make a list of all the companies that I'm interested in from least interested to most interested. That way I can get lots of practice on the ones that are lower on my list before I get to the more important ones. It's important um, to know exactly how you should dress. Um, you want to have a good list of questions also um, prepared in, in your head that you want to ask. Based on the advice that I received from the individuals at the Career Center, I look at the job description. I do a lot of research on the company and find out their key values or you know their mission statement and try to incorporate that into my answers. Preparation is the key to your success at a career fair. Start by updating your resume. Make sure your objective states what type of position you are looking for. Think about how you're going to make a great first impression. When students come to a career fair, they should immediately have good eye contact with me. They should also give me a firm handshake, a smile, and be sincere right off the bat. Share why you are interested in their company and what you have to offer during your personal introduction. A great example is if someone's coming up to me, I want to know that they're looking for marketing and I want it to be clear that that's the type of role that they're looking for and then I want them to be able to tell me about their different experiences that they feel would make them successful in a marketing internship. Then get in there and start networking with employers. I think it's really important for the student to make a connection. So it's about confidence, it's about coming in with a firm handshake, it's about eye contact, and it's about asking questions, not about how do I get a job with your company, but asking questions about our company. So what happens once you arrive? You will check in at the registration table, make yourself a name tag, and pick up a map of where all the employers are located. Take a few minutes to study the map and find the companies that are on the list you made before you arrived. Davis with Stryker. Oh, my name is Anthony. Um, nice yeah. to meet you, Anthony. It's nice to meet you as well. Um, sorry. I'm here today trying to uh, get a job. Uh, I really don't know too much about Stryker, and um, well, I'm really not sure how this goes. Are you looking for a full-time position? You know what? Can you just? Sorry. If you could just, just give me a minute, I'll be uh -huh. I'll be right back. Okay. Hello. Um, let's try to start this over again. It's okay. What's your major? Uh, human resources. Okay. We have both internship opportunities and full-time opportunities in that area. Okay. Um, what I would recommend is go ahead and just give me a copy of your resume and then if we're interested after we review that, we'll reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Do you have a copy of that? Um, I, I do, but it's not here. I don't have Hi, I'm Hillary Davis with Stryker. Uh, hello. My name is Anthony. Um, I'm a junior here at Western Michigan University pursuing my Bachelor's in Human Resource Management. I was wondering today, is there anything that you could tell me about what else you're looking for in a potential candidate? Looking for someone who has definitely high responsibility, someone that we can give tasks to in different assignments and we know that they're going to achieve them with both high skill level, but Some also key indicators of that for us are usually someone who's excelled in their academic work, but has also been able to be very involved and take taking on leadership opportunities within their community. I am the president of a student organization that I've been growing since my freshman year. What we mm -hmm. do is that we build relationships between students and the community through social events. And recently, we just organized our largest event. It was a $10,000 concert for the students in the community. Do you have a copy of your resume that I could look at? Absolutely. Give me one moment. Nice to meet you, Anthony. That it's sounds nice. great. I'll be in touch soon. All right, thank you. Nice to meet you as well. After the career fair, your job is not done. 
you may have been offered an interview the next day. If so, congratulations. Make sure you know where your interview will happen and start preparing. It's also a great idea to send a thank you note to employers you met with. Networking doesn't stop when you leave the career fair. We're here to help, so visit the Career Center before the career fair to receive assistance with your resume, personal introduction, and a plan for the day.